in 1814. A chaste government led by President Madison retreated from Washington, D.C. to this building behind me. And in 1814, for those who don't remember their history, we lost Washington, D.C. And this place was not only home to the first family, but many, many survivors of our nation's rightfully elected government were treated here. But the government wasn't gone. It just moved. Because rightly elected officials have the just cause the light always shines on those who know that they're on the side of civil behavior. And as long as American people believe in attack as a means to liberty, then America will never be at peace. But I don't believe that's what's going to happen. I believe the heart is bigger than that. I believe we were taught enough in school about the moral backbone of democracy. The righteous truth that civil discussions between respectful members of civilization are what the United States of America was founded upon. And when we consider that within us resides a belief that it is true in America's most important and valued truths, the cornerstone of our civilization. It's that all men and women are created equal. We're created equal because of who we are. So dropping our swords, literally and metaphorically, is how we begin the process of trusting and allowing freedom to reign. I'm not giving up on our ability to civilize our world, to make it more kind and egalitarian, not just peaceful, but just. Let's courageously make the world what it could be. If love was in charge, what would this world be like? Can you take a moment and envision what each of our systems would be like if they were more loving, caring, compassionate? What if every piece of the puzzle was deliberately skewed in the direction of love, sharing, creativity, open-mindedness? And yes, science too. Science that's going to get us where we need to go. Science that's going to lead us to understand the world as it is. Don't throw out the science. It's true that science has been used as a weapon against people in many ways. But it's also the only way that we're going to get out of this. The only way that we're going to keep this many people alive, healthy and well truly well, we got to use our brains. We got to keep thinking about how to make this better, how to solve this problem within the boundaries of what is possible. What's possible is 
partly limited by our imagination, but it's partly limited by the physics of our world. And science is how we learn that. Science without the principles that unite us, the shared caring that is the objective of the science, that's the reason, isn't it? That's our reason for exploring our world so that we can work together to make this understanding of our world useful to us so that we can help each other. We can help each other survive and ultimately we can help each other thrive. That's why we built all of this so that we could help each other. Let's chip away at the parts of this world that need to go away. so that we can build the world that we know is underneath all of it.